All right, so this uh, technical service bulletin here we have, it's an interesting one. Uh, the models that it applies to are 21 and 22 ES250 and uh, 20 to 22 ES300H, ES350, UX200 and UX250H. The one I've seen this most on is the UX250H. These ones are notorious for having issues uh, that need to have the VCM reset and the software updated. So the title is kind of innocuous. Hey, it just needs a software or firmware update and DCM reset. So what they're talking about here is the ECU that's responsible for the telecommunications, uh, the SOS and, uh, uh, you know, all those kind of things. And then um, it needs a firmware update pretty much. So it needs a updated software installed in it. So this has been revised a few times over the years since it originally came out. And what they're telling us here is that it supersedes the previous bulletin and the previous one is obsolete. All right, so let's go and see. So here they're talking about what are the issues that this bulletin addresses? What kind of problems you might be having that this may fix? and talks about the model years and different uh, uh, models themselves and the different software versions. So you can see that you can have a lot of different problems if you have an older software version. For example, um, these are the two letters that are important, the DD or EE. Those are some of the original uh, software versions that came out with this. Now, you Unless you have a text stream, you will not be able to look up this information. Um, so you need the scan tool to be able to look up this calibration ID or the firmware version. But um, if your vehicle is, let's say, a 2020 and you've never been to the dealership to have it updated or anything done to it, in no likelihood it has the older one in there. So look what you could have. You could have uh, communication fault codes or diagnostic trouble codes. You could have the SOS light stay on and not go out, your Lexus app does not accept the codes or does not work. Uh, the SOS call center does not receive the vehicle location or you get various errors, et cetera, et cetera. Then they updated it a little bit to this version FF. But uh, soon after they realized, hey, this one is still having problems. And this is the one you see a lot. And this is the one that's the most noticeable one, depleted, 12 volt vehicle battery when it, in ignition off. And what happens is you will park your vehicle and then sometimes it will be fine. And then sometimes your battery gets drained within just a matter of a few days. And you come out and you cannot start the vehicle. You boost it, it drives fine again. And then one day randomly it's just dead again. Uh, and that's a good indication that you would need to have this software update performed. Next, they went and updated to the next model um, after GG, and then uh, it still didn't fix the issue. So we were still having the depleted 12 volt battery. Next, they updated it again, and it still was having issues with the remote engine starting operator with the app and the fob and the door locks, et cetera, et cetera. We did another update and still we had some problems. So as you can see, it's kind of a pattern. Um, they will come out with an update, update it. Uh, people use the vehicle. Hey, realize there's still some issues. Um, some more updates get done and so on and so forth. So this just talks about uh, what the technician gets paid, uh, what the time that it pays, the fault codes and the op code for warranty claim submission. There's nothing for a consumer to do with this information, pretty much, other than gives you an idea approximately of how long the job might take. But these numbers are not very accurate because they're warranty times, so they're not actual book times. And then here, this is the important stuff in this red box here. It talks about um, the warranty coverage. So if your vehicle is less than 48 months from the delivery date, not manufacture date, but the in-service or delivery date and less than 50,000 miles on it or 80,000 kilometers, then uh, Lexus may cover this for free. 
Now I'm saying may because this is not a safety recall. This is a technical service bulletin. So uh, they will not do any work unless they can actually confirm an issue. So that's very important to know, right? And then this talks about the required equipment. Uh, so in essence, you just need any type of a tech stream to do this sort of an update. Uh, now there are people that use bootleg text stream software. I have no experience with that, so I don't know how it works or whether it works to do this stuff, but the factory OEM software definitely does. And then uh, these are instructions for the technicians. So unless you have the text stream and you're able to do this yourself, uh, you're probably not gonna do this. You'll just go to the dealership and have it done. And here they're talking about all the previous versions. So that's all the different updates they've had over the years. And there's the current one. And I wouldn't be surprised if, uh, you know, a few months after making this video, this will be uh, a previous update and the new version will be available again. So in essence, this is what a technician does is when the vehicle is brought to the dealership, they need to check, okay, um, they will do a health check and they will see what the software version is. They will verify that yours is one of the previous ones. And if it is, okay, they will proceed. If yours is the newest, this bulletin does not apply. If no, go to step three. So then they want you to reset the DCM and disconnect the battery, blah, blah, blah. So you know what looks like actually in this case, they don't actually need to confirm you having any of these issues up here. Uh, all they need to see is that your uh, software version is the older one, and then they will go ahead and update it. And then this talks about the actual process and how the update works. Uh, that's all for the technician, this information. And then at the end, your uh, software version will be the newest one. And finally, in some cases, uh, it looks like they will need to use the customer's Lexus app and uh, reactivate it and uh, get some work to get it uh, get it all working. So there you go. Um, if your vehicle is experiencing any of those systems above, there's a very, very good chance that your software is out of date and needs to be updated. So stop by your Lexus dealer as long as you're within uh, five years or, uh, sorry, what was the, Four years on this one, right? Here it is. Oh yeah, four years, this coverage is applicable. All right, uh, well, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned. There'll be a lot more coming soon. Thank you, bye.